Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my kitchen makeover. So as you can see, I'm just on Canva. I'm just trying to do a little print for the kitchen. Instead of buying, I thought I can just actually print one out. So this is the one I've gone for, they see me rolling, and I'm just trying to look for a rolling pin. This rolling pin graphic that I chose, I thought it could actually change into black, but it only stays white, so I can't use that one. So I'm going to try this graphic and see if I can resize it. I've just seen this one, I think I'm deciding to go for a little bit of colour on the black. I think I'm going to add a chef's hat. So I think I'm happy with this design, just going to go and print it off. A few moments later. Just printed that out, so I'm going to put that on the wall in a minute. Just sticking it down. Oh, that actually came out so cute. Okay, there it is on the wall. That looks nice actually. I'm glad I went for a bit of colour on it as well, just to break up the black. Nice. It was up, guys. I didn't bother filming that because you already saw. There's the table. I've just got to think of a feature wall, like I said, and then I want to get some nice table mats. And obviously, the other chairs will come in the next couple of weeks. And then I want to get a nice centerpiece as well. I'm not sure what to put there. I might just make my own little pampas grass centerpiece. So that is the table up. Okay, so just for now, I'll put this tray here and then this bunch of flowers. this balloon up because I want to do a vase with it a paper mache vase so I'm going to blow it up okay maybe that's the size this is actually going to go on the table
So I've managed to buy a PVA glue, so I've just mixed a little bit of that uh, PVA glue with some water. And for the next layer, I'm gonna dip it in there. So I'll probably do that off camera and then I'll come back when it's all done. Three days later. Okay, guys, I think this is dry now, for the most part. This part of the top isn't quite dry, but I'll probably think what you have to do now is pop the balloon. I'm going to cut an opening now where I can... So I might put a little bit of water in it. I don't know if I'll have enough to cover the whole of this. Just mix a little bit of water in that. Mix some water in there if you can see. Oh, get a brush to paint this on because this is not doing a really good job. So that's the vase so far. Just gonna leave that to dry so it can give it a bit of texture.
So while this one is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one black using some black acrylic paint. So I'm not actually sure what style I wanna do yet or whether I'm gonna do the round one or this one. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one for the living room. I don't think I'm going to use it for the kitchen again. As I really like the black one, so I'm going to go with this. And I have some of these yellow ones. And then some of these black ones, but maybe I'll just go with the yellow. So let's see what that looks like inside. I think these were from the now. So if anything, I will go back and pick another bunch up. So I want something bright in there, so. they do these in green as well so I might get some green ones and mix it up. I do like these yellow ones. So that's them. I'm definitely going to get another bunch or maybe another two and then see how that looks and then get something to put in the middle here for the brass to lean on and get some new table mats and then figure out this feature wall. Just had a look in my bag with all my floral stuff and I've just found these cream ones as well. Not sure which ones I like best, maybe the cream ones because they'll go with like the decor in here, black and beige. Yeah. This is where we're at at the moment. That's a nice little candle that I just bought. It's so cute. And then I'm actually looking for one of those rattan um, trays. So hopefully I'll be able to find one of those. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video here and I should be back for part three. And it should be about the feature wall. See you next time.